Hi and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm showcasing products from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp and this is part of a blog hop so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the details on how you can join the blog hop to get inspired and win prizes. For today I'm going to play with the new stamp set by Kathy Zilski, these are the Narvals and it's just adorable. I'm going to use those, all three of them, on cards as my focal points and I thought that this would uh, give me the great opportunity to work again with my alcohol inks that I haven't used for a while. So I'm going to grab a few Yupo papers. These are all the alcohol inks that I own. I like to store them in this box and I'm picking out uh, different shades of blue and some greenish ones. And here is me realizing that I have the same color twice. I hope I'm not the only one that finds out things like that. So anyway, I picked up all the colors that I decided to work with and I'm going to do different color combinations. Since I have all the supplies out, I'm going to make more backgrounds than I'm actually going to use and I can keep them on my stash for a later project. I'm using my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut out my Yupo paper in half. One side is 7 inches, so I'm going to cut it to 3.5. And this way I will end up with more panels to play with. In this little bottle I have isopropyl alcohol and uh, I'm applying that first on my Yupo paper and then I will go with my two colors. Here I'm using stream and denim. These are the darkest ones that I have. The easiest way to create a background that will always give you great results is to just lift the paper and help them blend. When I am creating ocean backgrounds with my alcohol inks, I really like to embrace white areas. I think they help all the other colors pop even more and look brighter. Another way to play with those backgrounds is to blow air on them. In this case, I'm using this tool that is supposed to blow markers, but um, I don't have the proper blower, that's why I'm using this one. And it works just fine. I like how you get those uh, formations that look like waves when you blow on them. And I also love the vibrant colors. I think this is the perfect ocean background. I find this technique really satisfying and I can blow and blow until it stops moving. And I'm really happy with the result. So I'm going to leave this aside to dry. And let's move on on another color combination. Again, first I'm going to apply my isopropyl alcohol on my Yupo paper and then I'm going again with two shades of blue, this time with aquamarine and mermaid. Again, I'm going to lift the paper and help those colors blend. And they provide a beautiful, vibrant background. In this case, I'm not going to use the blower and you will see that the finished result is going to be really smooth. I'm just going to leave that aside to dry. Let's move on to another background, again starting with my isopropyl alcohol and then this time I'm combining patina and pool. This is going to look lighter and not as dark as the previous colors. And then again I'm going with my blower and I will start blowing the ink around until it stops moving. You can stop earlier if you like, I just cannot stop. I find it so satisfying. When you apply uh, alcohol inks on top of Yupo paper, you do have a window to move the inks around and help them blend. However, when you add as a first step isopropyl alcohol, then you will find that you get a bigger window where you can play with those colors until you are satisfied for a longer period of time. The designs that uh, have formed already on my paper look like waves, but they are not going to stay as they are. They do blend out gradually and they are going to look smoother at the end. Now let's make one more background. This time I'm going with a very dark shade and I will combine it with a very light one. And I think this is uh, the more striking background of all four of them. So here I'm working with denim and pool. Again, I'm using my tool to move the ink around, help the colors blend together. And don't forget, you can always go back and add more ink if you want to. Just go ahead and play with the blower and the inks until you are satisfied with the result. 
you don't have total control over your alcohol links and how they're going to react. However, you can still do whatever you like. So here you see, I do blend the colors, but at the same time, I do leave lighter and darker areas as well as a white spot. Here are all four of the backgrounds and I love mostly the ones that have darker and lighter areas. They are definitely more interesting than the two that have the smooth result. So don't be afraid to combine very dark with very light shade of blue. Now for my focal point, I'm going to use all three of the narvals from the latest sunset by Kathy Zilski. This is called Narval Friends. I'm going to stamp all three of them with alcohol friendly ink and then I'm going to go ahead and color them with my alcohol markers. I did just some basic coloring, not too much shading. I went with greens, oranges and uh, reds and any color would work nicely against those backgrounds. Just don't go with blue because blue on top of blue is not going to stand out. There are um, matching dyes available for this stamp set, which I don't have at the moment. So I'm just going to go uh, old fashioned. I'm going to use my scissors and cut them out exactly where those black lines are. This way I have the advantage of not having that white border all around my designs. Now I have everything ready to go. I'm going to play a little bit with the backgrounds and my narvas, trying to decide which one is going where. And I'm also going to use a rectangle die. This is one of the stitched rectangle dies. I really like to have that stitching uh, detail around my panels. I think they give a very finished and professional look. And then I'm going to stick everything down. For that I'm using foam tape at the back so that I can pop the narwhals on top of my backgrounds. If you follow my videos you already know that I cannot live without dimension on my cards. And since we have alcohol linked backgrounds let's have some fun with another technique. I am going to do some lifting. I am stamping a few of the stars from the same stamp set. I'm using alcohol lift ink and very carefully I am stamping the three stars. This is going to lift some ink from the background. I'm cleaning up my stars and I will repeat the same process. I would suggest to use a stamping platform for this step because everything is so slippery and you can easily create a mess here. I have very sturdy hands when I'm stamping and I got away with it, but I definitely suggest that you use a stamping platform, do as I say and not as I do. I did stamp a few stars here and there at the background and now after a few minutes have passed I'm going to go over the stamped images and I'm going to clean them up with a clean paper towel. This is going to lift even more of that ink and those stars are going to show more. They look like ghost images and they add more interest on the background. Now for this one I'm just going to go with uh, three bubbles. There are three solid bubbles and three uh, outline ones. I'm using the three solid ones for my green narwhal and then the three outline ones for my orange one. I did uh, use foam tape at the back of all those panels and uh, placed them on top of uh, four and a quarter by five and a half white cards. And I'm adding some shine with my Nouveau Shimmer pen over the narwhal's tusks. And then I'm also going to add some glossy accents on top of that. And then finally you can add your sentiment. There are many sentiments in the same stamp set as the narwhals that you can work with. I decided to go with these stickers. These were included in my March uh, card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And I absolutely love the look. So these are all the three cards for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, don't forget this is part of a blog hub, make sure to visit my blog where you will find all the details on how you can enter the giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.